at the end of the day, it really sh just should just be about what it was in the beginning. Does this sound good? good. I started using the Variax because in my, well, with my band, the Doobie Brothers, I have to play a lot of different kinds of guitar parts. And, and like within one song sometimes, we had a song where I had to play like a distorted lead and a clean sound and a baritone guitar. So for me, that's how I gravitated towards using this, this instrument. That sounds good, man. Model's better. Yeah. <laughs> I pretty much had the same story. I was a um, utility guy for Shania Twain, and um, I needed to, to play an acoustic guitar in the verse and power chords in the, in the chorus. Mm -hmm. And um, that was the obvious choice, and totally blew me away when I realized I didn't have to lean over one of those acoustic guitars on a stand, you know, and miss half of the course to get back to the electric and turn the volume up. And Basically, it's a guitar primarily for guitarists. That's not really surprising. And it's a guitar for people who want to explore the, um, the multi-textures of electric guitar. The electric guitar isn't one damn thing, you know, from Les Paul, you know, Charlie Christian, Wes Montgomery, you know, uh, Steve Morse, um, you know, uh, Frank Zappa. Everybody was playing the guitar they liked. Yeah, that's a beautiful Strat uh, tone right there. There's a bunch of sounds in the, in the Variax that are dramatic, like really different, like yeah. a banjo or right, a, right, right. a sitar or, you know. And what I like to do with those, I like to take those and run them through my effects because that's when you really start getting some extreme yeah. sounds because the tonal qualities about those are really, they're really dramatic. So. Yeah. It's not just to me being able to pull up different various guitars because I like, you know, to have a telly on this part. It's, it's for me, it's more about taking something like that and, and using it as the jumping point. We're going to take a break now. <laughs> a good friend of mine who I use on a lot of uh, the scoring stuff that we're doing, for some of my scoring work on TV, we'll have comedy cues and other one-offs and weird little moments where we'll need all kinds of different guitar textures. I actually have another one so we could have one upstairs. And it just became the, the de facto guitar and we, we referred to it as the magic guitar because you could just flip through and get whichever, whichever sound spoke right at the moment without tuning up five guitars or hey, do you got any B strings down there? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> A lot of people don't realize this when they listen to the record and the mix, but listen to the music yeah. has banjo on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and but uh, and so I'm playing the banjo part live, so I use the banjo sound on listening oh, to music. Oh, sweet. In the, cool. With the doobies, so it's, it is great to have that. Yeah, I love the banjo in that song. Yeah. So during the making of Spectrum, uh, on a track, I um, recorded a, a, a Real Su 400 1961 model that I've got on the front pickup. And I did my part there, and then um, I took the Variax, put it on Su 400, and tracked it on the other side. And I said to the guy, well, what, what, you know, don't tell me which is which kind of thing. And we're listening to them, we got A being them. And I tell you, they sounded exactly the same. And uh, I thought that was a beautiful thing. You know, I, I use it all the time, especially live. And I'm glad to see that somebody's still committed to furthering it and keeping it going and making it better and getting it more hands. So I'm, I'm glad to see that there's more models out, you know, more guitars out. That's sweet, man. That's way cool. That sounds great. Yeah. Drop D. Come on. Wow. I don't. I can't curse, but that sounds, you know, blank sick. <laughs> Is this the tunings right here? Even better. Okay, that's big, and you can just roll through them right there. Yeah. That's genius. So that's double magic then. It's tonal magic and tuning magic. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> You've twisted Rip my arm up. long enough. <laughs>